Hi, my name is Alec Hirsch. Uh, I was the uh, playwright for the Fairhill Theatre Project, A Thousand Fibers. Um, we spent the last 15 months or so working on this project. Uh, it began last February when Georgina came to me and described the project to me. Uh, and uh, frankly, I found it a bit daunting knowing that I have to go into you know, a new community that I wasn't familiar with uh, and learn as much as I could about it. Uh, and the first thing that we decided to do was conduct these interviews, and we ended up doing about two dozen interviews with local community organizers, neighborhood associations, those sorts of things, working in the community garden in Fairhill, uh, trying to get the best sense possible for what uh, makes this neighborhood beat, what its heartbeat is. And, uh, you know, immediately themes started to jump out, themes like family, uh, uncertainty about the future, respect for the past, um, and this notion that uh, the best way to make Fairhill thrive was by uh, going from the inside out, in other words, avoiding issues like gentrification uh, and outside interests by making sure that the, that the core of the neighborhood is really strong. And I wanted to find a way to make these come through, and so, you know, the, the original drafts of the piece went through many iterations, and originally it was just going to be kind of a series of skits. Um, but uh, last summer, uh, I personally had a, a, a death in my family, and when I went to the funeral and I began to learn kind of a lot more about the life of this individual that passed away, my aunt. Um, and, you know, I knew her as a family member, as my aunt is just kind of, you know, this person. Uh, but, you know, going through her personal paperwork and photos and stuff like that, I learned so many more things about her. Things like she was a community organizer for over 70 years. Um, she spent uh, over 70 years as a maternity nurse. Um, and that desire to see her, her, her babies that she birthed um, kind of grow and expand their lives and benefit the community. And all these sorts of things that I learned from that experience seemed like it would make a terrific play because I met characters like that in Fairhill as well. So that kind of folded in as well. Um, we finished our first draft, um, I think on January 1st is when I submitted the first draft. We did a number of community table reads where I could get some good feedback from the neighbors, um, see what works, see what doesn't work. It went through about four other drafts until now we have what we call a rehearsal draft. You know, the thing about this project is it will never truly be done. You know, it's going to keep moving and growing and expanding uh, with every passing day because every actor that comes in uh, is going to have their say of what sounds right, what looks right, and what they want to go into the, their piece. You know, I always say that at the end of the day, uh, I'm not on that stage, you know, it's not my story to tell, it is a story to tell of the actors and the community members, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with this piece uh, going forward, um, and uh, I'm really excited for everyone to come watch this show and, and see um, the thing we've been working on for so long. So uh, I hope you like it, uh, thank you so much, um, and